Amy goes. Stage name, Sweet Amy. Age, 19. A very popular idol who still makes love songs for her high school crush. <laughs> An idol concert. A place that no one would expect someone such as myself to attend. In fact, I detest concerts. The suffocating crowd, the loud yelling from the audience, the irritating flashing of lights. There are places I'd much rather be, but... That voice, that smile, that face... <coughs> it keeps me from walking away. What is happening to me? Amy's getting a bit overrated, don't you think? Like, no offense, but it gets tiring seeing your face every day. Overrated, you say? Define overrated, Sonic. That <laughs> woman is simply getting the recognition she deserves. And you say you're not a diehard fan. Telling the truth is not obsessive behavior. I am a fan. Nothing more, nothing less. Sure, buddy, whatever you say. Oh yeah, you heard that Amy's making an appearance on this fancy restaurant 10 miles away? Just now? When? Tonight. Okay, I'll be going. <laughs> it's a race then! Bring it on! Hm. Loser treats lunch for a month. <laughs> now we're talking! Honestly, why bother tagging along? Aren't you tired of seeing her face? I just want to say hi to an old pal, Shads! <laughs> Won't you look at that, sweetie? I told you we'll be successful. I knew I had an eye for lovely talents like you. Yeah, thanks, Miss Rouge. Come on, Amy. You don't need to attend college when you're already famous. Just focus on your career. But, but you know I won't be an idol forever. I need some sort of backup job. It's just a few years, and I'll work alongside studying. You know you can just marry a rich guy, right? I don't want that. <laughs> Gentlemen, hey everybody. no flash photography, please. <laughs> hey We're there. only trying to eat. Hi! I guess it's a tie. A tie? Who would have thought? Hey, Amy! It's me, Sonic! Sonic? Keep walking, Amy. But, but Sonic is here! You know him, right? It's not the time for that. You okay, Shads? <sighs> Damn it! Your food, my lady. <gasps> Yummy! Watch what you eat, darling. We both know how you hate hitting the gym. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear it, Amy. I'm working on that college application form you sent me. What? You want to apply on the Institute Eggman made for science and robotics? W why not? I'm not totally incapable of maths and stuff. Seriously, Amy? I didn't really take you for a nerd. Do you know how dangerous it is for a star like you to attend on a public school? Do you have a death wish? W well... I was planning that I could just change identities. <laughs> okay, so you what? You want me to pull some strings to get you forged documents for this new identity? <laughs> Fine. I guess being closer to that Sonic would get you to write more songs. It's not because of Sonic! <laughs> oh, the things we do for love. Stop! Good evening, folks. I'm here live with a lot of eager fans waiting for Sweet Amy. Right now, right here at <laughs> Sir, get away from You <sighs> fool! Do you not understand that by broadcasting her location live means another swarm of people will crowd this area? Have you not seen the staff begging the crowd to stop being noisy? Are you begging for a riot to happen? Shadow, let's just get dinner somewhere. Let's go before things get out of hand. Uh, sorry about that, ma'am. I guess my buddy's just trying to minimize the crowd. Here's a little something for the damage. So, 
You're saying that your house burned down on your old country. That none of your class records can be recovered. What? Eh, I couldn't care less. As long as you can pay the fees and keep up with our advanced curriculum, you're accepted. Now scram and figure out your schedule yourself. Hmm. Why, Why am I, I so nervous? nervous? This is exactly like high school, except with girls dyeing their hair pink and matching my hair and guys wearing my merchandise. Rouge is right. If I'd come here without a disguise, I could have been eaten alive or something. My face is plastered everywhere, but no one has recognized me yet. That's a good sign. I'll just keep a low profile until I... Sonic! Oh, hey, Ames. Nice to see you finally come around. What the f***? I guess I had a hunch we'll see each other again after last night. Were you supposed to be undercover? Y yeah How did you figure it out? I just know my Amy when I see her. Uh, I am not your Amy. Yeah? What's your undercover name? Amelia. You really didn't think that through, huh? You sure changed a lot, Sonic. Hmm? How so? You're just so relaxed and laid back. It's not that you weren't like that before, but it feels like nothing could surprise or shock you anymore. What happened, Sonic? Eh, when your roommates with Shadow, nothing is unpredictable to me. Your roommates with Shadow? No, seriously. What happened? I guess life just becomes dull when you turn 20. Is it because you're not going into adventures anymore? Or is it because I disappeared? Oh, yeah, I got a class to attend. Catch you later! Wait up! <sighs> Poor Sonic. That girl. No. I suppose it's another fan of her. But she's definitely a new student. If that's you, Amy, why would you try to hide yourself from me? Now, now that, that I did, I did catch you talking talk to, Sonic, to Sonic, I'll just, I'll just ask, ask him myself. myself. It, it seems like, like my disguise fooled him a bit. I guess it's because we didn't hang out as much, but he's but still he's my, friend. my friend. He looks he like looks someone like I could I trust with my identity, identity. But, if but if I hang out with him or Sonic, suspicion might arise. I'm sorry, Shadow. Of course, it looks depressing here. Pink Hedgehog, you are late! Sorry, Dr. Eggman. <clears throat> As I was saying, I am Dr. Ivo Robotnik. You may refer to me as Professor Robotnik if you like. Eggman is more like a brand name, you see. I'm your school director, and also your science and robotics teacher. Since you've all come here to attend this little school I made, you are all probably aware this isn't just like any school. This is a school for gifted minds that want to explore the vast fields of science and robotics. Introducing Eggbot, the most simplest mech even aspiring geniuses like you can build. If you're able to construct one that works, then you are fit to be considered a student in this fine institution. Think of this as an entrance exam. It's a harmless little robot that could talk, fly, and walk. Kind of like a virtual assistant, but more entertaining. And yes, you can keep it afterwards free of charge. And no, you don't have to do any sort of programming. All you have to do is to screw plates and connect wires together. As long as you know how to follow the instructions of the instruction manual included, you'll be able to pass this test. And don't even think of passing someone else's already built Eggbot. I would know. Uh, my head hurts. God, I feel, I feel so, so numb and numb tired. tired. And all I do is talk, talk to her. her. I can't go I can't to class, class like, like this. this. I suggest taking a nap. I don't think a nap will do the trick. 
Why is she here? If I hadn't recognized her, she would have kept hiding from me. From us. But why? Sonic! Ah! Oh, hey, Shads. What's up? <sighs> that girl you were talking to. Who is she? Whoa, hey there. No need to be all interrogative here. Which girl are you talking about? You know I'm popular with the ladies. Pink Hedgehog. Oh, that? I forgot her name. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Tell you that it could be Amy or something? Man, yeah, I guess, I guess even the ultimate, ultimate life form can't, can't sniff out the real Amy. Amy. If she, she isn't, isn't planning, planning to reveal herself, herself to anyone, anyone then I sure respect sure that. that. <laughs> of course, of course, I want her back. Just like everyone else. Trust me, bud. If it was Amy, I'd tell you right away. But you know, at first I also thought she was Amy. So I followed her around and discovered she's a diehard Amy fan. She dyed her fur pink. She's supposed to have white fur as far as I know. Then why were you talking to her so casually? Why not? You jealous that women talk to me? I will smother you on your sleep. Hmm. Knuckles! Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Are we really? Nah, I just wanted to say that line. Rouge asked me to pick you up today. She's got a meeting with some important people, but I know she just don't want to drive. Well, thanks, Nux. And don't worry, I'll get my dorm situation settled by tomorrow. More free time until my next concert, hmm? I don't mind being your driver for today. And hey, I wanted to ask you about Sonic and Tails. How are they doing there? Or you don't mind because Miss Rouge told you so. <clears throat> Watch it, Amy. I'm not beyond dropping you off in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, I didn't see Tails, but Sonic... Sonic is alright, I think. So, what are you and Miss Rouge, really? Friends, colleagues, and also kind of my boss. She helped me, so I helped her. And we share one goal, and it's to make sure you're safe. You guys are like my mommy and daddy! No, definitely not! Aw, you're all red, Nux. Because I am red, idiot! I should make a song about this! No, no, no! You guys don't really have to be protective of me. I can defend myself and you know that. Without your hammer, you are toast. I'm not 12 anymore. I haven't got my driver's license a week ago. What's a driver's license? <gasps> Say what?! <laughs> uh, you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> of course I know what a driver's license is. And I have one. <laughs> yeah, you got me good. <laughs> Documents laying around just like that. It'd be a shame if someone were to tamper with it. Hmm. There we go. If Amy can't cute herself into getting funds, I'll do it my way. What a drag. Amy, honey, don't stay up too late. You have an interview tomorrow. I won't. I just want to make progress immediately. Why bother? We can just get a mechanic to do that for you. I want to do it myself. Say, if you don't plan to reunite mm -hmm. with your friends, what's the point? Mm -hmm. Oh, about that. I'll reunite with everyone once I'm ready. There's just something I want to do first. Or something I want to make first. Something that I lost long ago. Something very close to my heart. I'll rebuild her, and I will make sure she's indestructible. I know you've heard it a couple hundred times already. I love it. Uh, what a 
ugly mech egg man. Don't worry, I'll destroy it for ya. <laughs> Foolish rat. I specifically designed it to be durable, not pretty. Move out of the way! <gasps> I had enough of you pesky children smashing my mechs around like nothing. Oh? What's that? Your hammer broke? <laughs> Sorry you had to learn that my machine is simply indestructible in the hard way. My hammer! <laughs> what happened? Amy. Stop ignoring me! Now I'm starting to feel bad. Come on! You guys destroy my weapons of mass destruction all the time, and I don't weep like that. It's a tool that could be replaced. Just ask Tails to build another hammer for you. Don't tell her what to do, Eggman! Now what's this robot's gimmick? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah! I'll just build you another hammer, and it'll make it much stronger. No! No! She's... she's irreplaceable! It will never be the same! You see, whenever I build an extra-large mech, you and your friends would just break off its limbs. So I worked for months to implement my hover tech on larger scales of robots. Hurry up! Oh, shut up! How about you use your ultimate life form bullshit you're so proud of and fight him head on? I'm a thief, not a hacker! I'm not getting my hands dirty, nor am I fighting alongside Sonic against some robot. Just stick to the plan. I'll be the one that makes sure he doesn't escape. Yeah? What do you use to control your hover tech? Why, Bluetooth, of course! Uh, of course! Why did I think of that? <laughs> Here, you're safe now. I'll get back to you later. Have to clean Eggman's mess. Sorry, Ames. Uh, retreat. 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 <gasps> just where do you think you're going, Doctor? What? You're just going to kill your poor dear friend's family? Hmm. Hm. You know what? You're not even worth it. You who brings despair into this world doesn't deserve a fast and painless death. Your mere blood relation to her is none of my concern. People like you deserve to die alone. <laughs> You'll pay for this! I'll kill you myself! <laughs> The blue nuisance would only get in your way. Without that hammer of yours, there's nothing much you can do. Here. Thanks. Let me tell you something about loss. Whenever I get reminded of her, all I could think about was vengeance. How unfair and undeserving she was of her fate. And there's nothing I could have done to change that. It's never easy to move on from losing a friend until I realized that those friends want nothing more than for us to live on and be happy. Always remember that. It's better if you leave while there's still some sun left. Go home. Sonic and the others will take it from here. All right. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Heroine turned idol, sweet Amy Rose. From the girl with a dream to the girl of your dreams. 
the biggest star on the planet yet, known for her upbeat love songs, beautiful voice, and dessert-themed outfits. Now, we're sitting next to her for a long-awaited interview. My, don't we have a number of questions from the fans. Hi, everyone. So happy to be here. Let's get started. Next question. To whom are you writing these songs for? Is it Sonic? Uh, oh, I mean, I wrote some of them at least years ago, and, uh, uh yeah, uh, but I mean... Ah, oh, pathetic. You know, I'm not mad that she makes songs for Sonic. I'm mad that I have to sing them! I know that your lucky color, the cool shade of blue, won't mind painting myself blue for you. Yay, making them cheesy songs, Ames! I don't know if Sonic would listen to any of my songs. I'd always pour my heart and soul into writing them. <coughs> For him to just run away whenever I asked him to listen. So, I thought maybe I wasn't good enough. Or maybe he didn't want to accept my love. Why try to catch the wind when you can reach for the stars? <sighs> Come with me, darling. We'll make that Sonic regret losing you. So, I shared it with the world. He may be the one that started it all, but I promise that who I am writing to is you guys! My heart belongs to all of you! Oh, yes, you! Especially you! You make me the happiest girl in the world! And, speaking of love songs, physical copies of my Valentine's Day album are available for a limited time here in the city. Get yours now! Where are you going? Out. I should have known. I would have gone earlier, but that research paper isn't gonna write itself. At least this line isn't as bad as lines for concert tickets. I didn't want to resort to this, but I'm afraid I have no choice. Just a moment. Have a lovely day. Thanks. Huh? Oh, man, get down and get there, boy. 